So you want to get the best YouTube camera, but you don't want to get just any old fancy camera. You want to get the camera that's perfect for what you specifically make. So I'm going to share my favorite cameras specifically based on the type of creators that I see the most often on YouTube or any platform. And we're going to do all of this without wasting your time or money. So make sure to watch till the end because this video is going to be jam packed. Let's get into it. By the way, if you're new to the channel, my name is River and I'm a professional director and cinematographer. And on this channel, we talk about anything and everything to do with camera gear, plus teaching you guys how to take better photos and videos every single day. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for all of our future content. And as always, I'm gonna leave links down below to all of the gear that we talk about today. So if you wanna get the best pricing on the gear you wanna buy, make sure to check out those links. I'll see you guys in the video. So in this video, we're gonna cover everything from people that just sit down and talk to the camera kind of like this but also people that run around and shoot epic youtube stuff we're gonna cover everything so the first camera we're looking at is for people that do something very similar to what i do they sit in front of a camera and while they talk there's a little bit of b-roll cut in and this style of youtube videos is actually the most common style of videos on youtube why because it's effective and for that type of creator i highly recommend the canon m50 Mark I and the Canon M50 Mark II. When it comes to the Canon M50, there are three things that this camera does really well when it comes to the sit down and talking portion and two things that it does extremely well specifically for the product b-roll and product photography section. So the first thing that makes it really good for the sit down talking portion is that it has a 24 megapixel APS-C size sensor which gives you great colors and fantastic autofocus. Without doing any editing to your footage, your colors are immediately going to look great and specifically skin tone is going to look great. If you're worried about maybe not looking as attractive on camera, this camera is known for making people look good. This camera has spectacular autofocus when you're shooting in HD mode. One of the easiest mistakes that most content creators that are new to shooting make is that they don't nail their focus and often their shots are really blurry or just slightly out of focus. This camera has really good face and eye tracking so you can literally just set it and forget it. On top of that, this camera has a side articulating screen that allows you to see yourself but it also has touch autofocus so if you don't want to fiddle around with the lens just simply tap your face on the screen and voila you're in focus. But there's one more thing that makes this camera spectacular, and that is the audio in this camera. And that might sound small, no pun intended. You have to have good audio, and specifically, you need to have an external mic going into your camera. Thankfully, this camera does have an external mic jack, but it has really good preamps, so your audio is really good, even if you're just using a cheap $99 Rode Mic Go. And next, let's talk about B-roll. There's two features in this camera that make it really, really good for shooting B-roll and products. So the first thing is, this camera does full HD up to 60 frames per second. You're going to get a gorgeous full HD image, but also that 60 frames per second is going to give you the ability to do two times slow motion. And it also has 120 frames per second for four times slow motion. Sadly, that four times slow motion is in 720p, which is less than full HD. It doesn't really look good, so I wouldn't really use it for beauty shots, but sometimes if you need to catch something in slow motion or just for a really cool shot, you have it. And the other feature that makes it really good for product photography is actually a feature that I really don't like in this camera. And that is the 4K in this camera. Now you might be thinking, wait, hold on. I want 4K, people love 4K. It's like the rage, but here's the thing. When you go into 4K mode on this camera, your sensor crops in and basically it zooms in all of your photo and video images and that's a problem because you're throwing away half of your sensor and while you are getting more resolution, you're not really getting your money's worth. One of the big benefits of shooting products in 4K is that you can do a ton of digital zooms, digital pans, and you can really play around with the resolution and do a whole bunch of zoom in, zoom out effects. And when it comes to the Mark II version of this camera, there's really not much of a difference. It's usually about 50 to an extra $100. The only thing you're really getting is slightly faster autofocus and a clean HDMI out so you can use this camera as a webcam or for streaming. Now, if you're a streamer and if you need a better webcam, 
it's a great deal. But if you're not, why spend the extra money? Save your money, buy Chipotle. The only issue that I have with either of the Canon M50 models is that the battery life only lasts you two to three hours. So if you can, I highly recommend buying a spare battery or if you tend to shoot most of your videos sitting down in the same place, I recommend buying a dummy battery on Amazon and simply plugging your camera into the wall. You will never have to worry about batteries ever again. But not everybody makes their content at the same desk in the same room week after week after week. A lot of YouTubers are running around the world, living an epic life and making content wherever they get a chance to just putting their camera down and talking to it. And if you're that type of creator, the next camera would be perfect for you. And that brings us to the Canon G7X Mark III. If you're constantly on the go and you just don't have the patience to carry a full camera with you at all times, the G7X Mark III literally fits in your pocket. You can whip it out at any time, quickly talk to it, quickly shoot whatever you're looking at, put it back in your pocket. It's like your cell phone, but way better. What really makes the Canon G7X a great camera is the compact design, the video features, and that amazing built-in lens. The lens on this camera goes all the way from 24 to 100 millimeters. You literally will never need another lens. It's going to cover everything you need. On top of that, this lens has an f-stop between 1.8 to 2.8, and that's going to give you two major benefits. One, it's going to give you a lot more shallow depth of field in your image than other point and shoots. And this camera's pretty decent in low light, so with the lens and the ISO, you're going to be able to shoot in pretty much any environment without worrying about your video turning out too dark. Also, this camera has a macro feature, so if you want to get super zoomed into something and show off the super tiny fine details, you can do that. As for the video features in this camera, they're pretty special. It does full HD all the way up to 120 frames per second, so you're going to get four times slow motion and it looks gorgeous. But the big thing is that this camera has 4K in 30 frames per second with no crop. You're going to be able to easily vlog in full 4K mode, although I don't really think most people need to vlog in 4K, but you're gonna be able to do it, no problem. And you can also use that 4K for product shots or any kind of detail shots where you need to zoom in to that resolution. But I do wanna mention, because this is a point and shoot camera, it has a smaller sensor. It's only a one inch sensor, and that is about a quarter of the size of a mirrorless camera or a DSLR. So you won't get that much blurry depth of field, but you'll get enough. And if you're somebody that really, really wants to shoot something cinematic and really make it look more like a movie, I have a camera later in this list specifically for you guys where it's like a cinematic YouTube camera. Stick around for that. Overall, it's a fantastic camera. It's small, compact, has a flip-up screen so you can see yourself with touch autofocus, so focusing is never an issue. But there's one tiny, tiny, tiny issue when it comes to audio. This camera does have an external microphone input, so you can attach a microphone for better audio, but when you attach that microphone to the top of the camera, it blocks the screen at the top of the camera, so you will have to get a $9 mount from Amazon, they're really easy to find, but it simply allows you to put the microphone on the side of the camera so you can have the screen at the top and the microphone on the side. It's a small, tiny adjustment or compromise you have to make for an otherwise stellar camera. Overall, if you're someone that's always on the go and you just wanna be able to carry your camera with you in your pocket, but you don't wanna use your smartphone, the G7X Mark III is a fantastic buy. The only small downside that I can think of with this camera is that the battery isn't the longest, but when it comes to small point and shoots, the battery life is only about two to three hours. I highly recommend getting a spare. They're not that expensive. They're about $20, $25 on Amazon. I highly recommend picking up two to three batteries as spares and you're good to go for the entire day. And here's the funny part. A lot of people know me as the guy that reviews cameras on YouTube. And if I ever get recognized, it's always like, you're the guy from YouTube, but what most people don't know is that I'm also a professional director and cinematographer. And I've been lucky enough to travel all over to shoot commercials and work with some of my favorite brands. On top of that, I've actually helped tons of my friends get into photography and video and eventually turn that into a side hustle. It's kind of weird. I have way too many friends that ended up becoming photographers just because they met me. Which is why I'm excited to share the same knowledge with you guys. You guys can start making money by just working a few days a month 
and start up your own high paying side hustle. And you can do all of this by using the camera that you already own or the camera that you're about to buy. You can start making money with your camera now by doing what you would already be doing for free. If you're planning on taking photos and videos with your camera, there's somebody out there that probably needs you to shoot for them and they will pay you. You can start taking photos and videos, which you were already doing for free, and start getting paid for it. So if you're interested in learning step by step how to take the camera that you already own and taking something that you already love to do and turning it into a high paying side hustle, check out the link in the description down below. For a limited time, I'm actually giving away my personal Lightroom presets and my personal LUT so that you guys can get the exact same colors and tones that I get in my photos and videos for free. Just check out the link in the description down below. With that said, let's get back into the video. If you're the type of YouTuber that's doing a bit of vlogging, a bit of sitting down and talking, and also showing off products and cool B-roll, this next camera might just be the perfect camera for you, and that is the Sony ZV-1. The ZV-1, in many people's opinion, is the best YouTube and vlogging camera out there, but if you're not a YouTuber or a vlogger, it's kind of not worth the money and it's a pretty mediocre camera. At first glance, the specs on this camera are nothing to write home about. It has a 20 megapixel sensor and a lens that goes between 24 millimeters to 70 millimeters with an f-stop of 1.8 to 2.8, which is actually less than the Canon G7X Mark III, which cost a little bit less. So why is this camera so good? It has a couple of features that were specifically made for YouTubers and vloggers that makes it totally worth the money. Off the bat, this camera's everything a YouTuber or a vlogger would need. It has a side articulating screen, touch to autofocus, really fast autofocus, and an input for an external microphone. And because the screen comes out to the side, you can actually put the mic on top of the camera. But there's a few things that set this camera apart design-wise. Right on top of the camera are really big record buttons for video and for photos. It might sound small, but when you're vlogging and you can't really see the buttons, it's really imperative that you're able to find what button you need at the right time. And on top of that, this camera also has a Bluetooth hand grip with a record button for photos and video, a zoom rocker, and a custom one button, which I personally use to set my focus. Having all of the buttons that you need right in front of you, in front of your camera and not at the back, believe it or not, is a game changer. And on top of that, it's a Bluetooth grip, so you can actually use it when it's not attached to the camera, which is pretty handy. And the grip can also be used as a tripod, so you can just easily put it down in front of you and start recording. But the other two features that this camera has are totally free and really useful. The first feature is the enhanced bokeh. If you want to get that shallow depth of field look, it's really hard to get on a point and shoot camera because of that smaller sensor. But this camera actually has an option to digitally add that in, kind of like what the iPhone and Android phones do. And by having that feature in your camera, it simply makes your image look just that 5% or 10% more cinematic. And hey, it's free, I'll take it. And the next feature that's really useful is known as product showcase. If you're something like me and you talk to the camera and you wanna show a product to the camera, generally your camera is not gonna be able to focus straight to the product when you hold it up. It's probably gonna struggle and it's gonna make your video all wonky. This camera actually has a feature known as product showcase, where if you hold up a object to the camera, it'll snap straight to the camera for autofocus and then back to your face. Straight to the product and back to your face. It's super useful. The lens in this camera is really not that special. I wish it was closer to 24 to 120 or 100 mil. The lens is just disappointing in this camera, but it has a really fast aperture, so this camera is pretty good in low light. And video specifications wise, it has everything you would need. It does full HD up to 120 frames per second and 4K up to 30 frames per second. So when it comes to real time vlogging and talking, it has you covered and can also make these beautiful slow motion montages. But if you're someone that's really, really, really into slow motion, this camera actually has a super slow motion feature where not only can it do 120 frames per second, it can also do 240 frames per second, 480 frames per second, and 960 frames per second. If that sounds too good to be true, that's because it is. Every time you raise the slow motion, you lower the quality of the video, and eventually it just gets a potato quality. I wouldn't use it for something professional, but if you're on YouTube, your audience is gonna be like, wow, that's so cool. And ultimately, isn't that what we're all trying to do? 
And there really is nothing bad that I can say about this camera, except for maybe the battery doesn't last that long, but that's pretty typical of point and shoot cameras. Overall, this is the perfect vlogger and YouTuber camera. If you're not a YouTuber and vlogger, I wouldn't get this camera. For the same price, you could get something like the Sony a6100, which is a mirrorless camera, and it will get you a much more cinematic or big camera look. But if you're a content creator like me, I highly recommend picking one of these up with the grip. The grip is amazing. Well guys, that's pretty much it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. And if you guys want to learn how to turn the camera that you already have into an asset, be sure to check out the link down below for the side hustle course. That's pretty much it for now, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.